Seattle Regional, and it's a winner takes all between the McNeese Cowgirls and the Washington Huskies here at Husky Softball Stadium. A great way to cap off what has been a fantastic weekend of softball. Welcome to the. So it's Vallejo again in the circle against Klingler. Vallejo worked a shutout against Minnesota to send them to Sunday as Klingler bounces one over to third. The throw to first is good. So it goes Bouvier, Poncho. Then they play McNeese. McNeese bats just were not there. Ruby Malin pitched a great game. And they won three to one as Reynolds. It was Carter who we just saw. The freshman will start in center field today. As this one down the third base line. That's going to be a hit for Husky. And Reynolds will stay put at second. World Series. And so that's the group that's very, very hungry right now. This, was, this one smacked up the middle, shoveled to second. The throw to first. A double play. They're at it again. I mean, this season. Efficient is what I think of. This one lightly hit to Malin. Seneca's gone. Yeah, Malin went the first time these two teams played on Saturday. For the wall. 2-2, two, two, swing and a miss. First strikeout for the freshman, Malin. Pat Piffin from her. Flip in a change every now and then. This one flared out foul territory. Klingler's under. And it's out number three. So scoreless after one inning between McNeese and Washington. Seems like we might have in game one from Malin in that first inning, but they haven't had much and they haven't scored. So in terms of getting up offensively, it's it's been difficult. Uh, Bouvier makes it out there and Espinosa's retired. It's a big flip. A couple of hours up the road here and there. This one hangs up there in center field. Underneath it is Arjuan. To mention the offense, they could do it all. This one bounces in a weird spot, shoveled it over from Torres. And again, they just look so crisp defensively. Three up, three down for started playing her in that second Minnesota game. It was the right move. Gets a good crack at one there, and that's going to be a base hit. Sometimes you just have it. I mean, not even surprised at this point. She has been on a roll, and whenever you're a hitter who's... One, one. This one flared up, right field side. Husky under. One gone. In on the hands, but it's lower, a little bit easier to get rid of that pop up and something hard on the ground. 1 0 to Mariana Torres. A fly ball, right field side, warning track catch by Husky. And that one, Husky looks like she was tracking that all the way. As deep as Husky went, I almost want to see possibility of just stepping on the bag at second. Bouvier. Into center field, Carter races in. Final out of the second inning. So despite a the most recent to join, so that's three pack teams. Washington looking to make it four. Lightly hit, Vallejo picks it up, fires. Out is Stewart. Great play by Vallejo. Not a lot of pitchers can make that play. Well, field as well. They're able to set themselves up in great positions. Sometimes they don't even need to as Vallejo gets to strike out. The Cowgirls. And a diving play from Seneca. I was about to say right on cue, but. <laughs> the energy, but you have to find out how to create it. That's going to be the team. A blooper in there for Otto. Well, a single can create a little bit of energy. That might be all McNeese. Otto only four for seven and still attempts this year. 0-2, Arjuan looking to find the gap, scooped up, thrown to first. There goes Fiedler, Klingler. Defensive setup right here. And that's gonna find the gap. Santa 
Rebecca moves along the runner. But they were pinched in and she found that hole. She reads her defense so well. She played regionals not decided yet. Second base left wide open for Seneca to advance. Only one out. Surprised that they allowed it so easily. Louisiana Lafayette. And they just had a player from LSU get tossed out of the game by the umpire. Two huge points on that one. I love the fact I can argue for the obstruction. That has been the hardest thing as a catcher to position themselves. But I, I don't think there's any obstruction call there. But if you see the catcher up that in front, I, I want to see a slide go around. But look at this. Reese Reyna, she bunts it. She can say if she was in front, but no. They're going to uphold the call. And I think that's the right one. That tag is next to impossible. This one's going to find the gap. Here comes Seneca. McNeese up. Chloe Gomez, an RBI single. That's the sweet spot, too, for McNeese. That pitch was actually outside Malin, trying to go away. Look at that. Seneca, Gomez, both of them. Just hitting that pitch right there. Doesn't even get all of it, but just enough to get through the in scoring position because of that heads up base running earlier. Gomez is gonna take off. Reyna almost caught in a rundown as Stort with a little pump fake and then looks at Reyna, doesn't, or willing to get ahead of Malin and then make your break. To Poncho on the third base line. Here comes Reyna. Another one and Gomez being sent. Two runs come through. It's the fiery freshman yet again. This game gives her team a little bit of cushion. Corrine Poncho down the line past the glove of Espinoza. Reynolds able to catch that before it hit the wall, but not before two runs came in. And Ponch, well, in the previous three games of this regional, three runs total, as this one whipped right to Klingler, and she's going to end the inning, but not before Poncho and McNeese. Now very loose. And I mean, their first baseman. Corrine Poncho. Reynolds skies one into right center field, back at the wall, out. Large one, <laughs> just underneath. <laughs> one, two, hops Arena, fields it, fires. Out is Husky, finally. And leave it a goose egg. Just one run is enough to kind of neutralize that momentum, but that's huge right there. <laughs> a nasty pitch and a backwards K for Vallejo, her second. They have been in charge of, in danger of being upset. Mariana Torres soars one in. It's going to drop in right field side. On her way to second, a stand-up double. Regional. A 3-1 victory for Washington. She really handled this lineup. Lightly bunted, picked up by Stewart. And out is Bouvier, but there's Torres at third. Oh, intense Malin. She's having to work. Oh, Skies one into left field. Back is Reynolds at the wall. It bounces up. Here comes a run in Torres. On her way to third, sliding in. She's out. I mean, a great shot, and there's the aggression that you wanted to see from the leadoff. Very shallow on that play, and it wasn't even her who got that ball. It was actually Brooklyn Carter, the center fielder. She gets it, shoots it in immediately to Riley Holtorf. Look at this row, great tag by Espinoza. That in-state rivalry goes to the underdogs. <laughs> oh, man. 
wrecking havoc across the country, but Ruby Malin. <laughs> That's a part of the regional that they're in. They've been here three straight times. Lots of upperclassmen on this roster. They're ready for this moment. Lightly head over to Poncho, picks it up, beats out the runner in Espinoza. One away. In front of an outfielder, I mean, that might be what Washington needs. Just one hit. They need one hit. This one foul territory. Bouvier. Did she get it? Yes. Wow. Great play by Bouvier. Able to swing and a miss. Vallejo got her. Took four pitches. Fiedler goes down. And it's three up, three down for Vallejo. Three in the third. One last in the fourth. This one hops over Espinoza. <laughs> she is taking offense to them being pinched in. <laughs> Lays down a bunt, right field side, scooped up by Klingler, fires to second. Everybody is safe. <laughs> oh, Klingler. There's a lot of curveballs to work away from righties into lefties. Gomez over to short. Holtorf has it, gets the force out there. Seneca is off the base pass. Nice job there by Holtorf. Poncho finds a gap between second and third. Reyna's gonna hold up because Reynolds was right there, but bases are loaded and it's just, what do you do? At 5-6 hole, hold. That would be absolutely crucial for Nelson. But she won't. She will walk in a run. The easiest score <laughs> for McNeese. But that Klingler threw to second wasn't in time. Then the throw to first wasn't in time as well. This one soared up in the right field, back at the warning track. The out is made, but tagging up and scoring is Gomez. Six runs for McNeese. McNeese, two outs, runners on first and third. Bouvier. Oh, that's, that was fair. So Stort just tagged her. And that ends the inning, and Washington stays alive. But I mean, look at that stat line. Only three Ks today. But the ability to know that whenever she throws a pitch, it's going to be on that corner, that's money. Because she gets hits like that for her defense. Wow, three pitches, all strikes. All different locations be her last at bat as a Washington Husky in this one. <laughs> well, hard to keep her down. <laughs> Bailey Klingler ropes one into center field. And I love to see that from her. That ball was such a hard hit line drop. That you're focusing on, hey, I want this pitch. I want to get on base. I want to drive it. This over to Reyna to first out number three. So Klingler. She reaches on a single. It is not enough to start the offense for another one. They are up on Washington, six to nothing. Well, it's gonna be a quick six three. Otto goes down. Swing and a miss. Nelson is feeling it a little bit. Two quick outs. Two McNeese has scored in the last three innings. Three, one, then two. Right to Nelson, picks it up, throws to first. One more chance for Washington. Husky, right away. That's what you need. Husky keeps the Huskies rolling. Washington scores. Jadlyn Olchin. This is the one that she's been waiting for. This pitch left over the middle of the plate. Sends it to deep right center. Scores the first run of the game for Washington, but the mindset that she had takes a 3-2 pitch. They might see 
Couple runs come across. Other tar conservative with that one. Knowing the rain, no. Whenever you're in the bullpen and all of a sudden you hear heads up and a fly ball pops your way. The lead to four. But finally, there's an out for McNeese as well. For Washington. Kelly Lynch, the senior, rips a liner out to left field. We talked about it. Bailey Klingler started off this game with a hard hit. But this one rolling hard, especially with wet grass as an outfielder. He gets going. And Landrino is rocking with Vallejo here. That one chopped to Bouvier, she has it. And they step on the back, so that stops Lynch. And it means that McNeese needs one more out. The bases are loaded. Reyna, she is deep. That ball did not hit extremely hard. She has to know there is speed at first. Vandergriff, she is extremely fast. And as soon as she sees it, she goes. And Reyna, she takes her time, and she also brings the ball all the way up to her shoulder. A little bit. But Klingler, watch this dive from her at home. Almost like a Superman slide. She knew off the... This 15 innings, zero run. Madison Husky takes this one. A valiant effort by center fielder for McNeese. Hardwood not 2-2. Two -two. Over to second, Torres, underhand toss to Pancho, and it ends the inning. But what an inning it was for Washington. They don't give up just because they have two strikes. Even if they do get out, it's a tough out. Payoff, sent in a center field. That's a tying run. Reese Reyna. 3-2, swing and a miss. Nelson, a massive K. And a hitter who is very hot right now. A basket catch. Hit the bases clearing double. Now makes a great diving catch. 